opponents before and after fighting Habib. Throughout his impressive and untarnished career, Habib faced numerous opponents, ultimately leaving the UFC with a remarkable record of 29 to 0. Interestingly, some of those 29 opponents displayed a cocky demeanor when stepping into the octagon against him. However, amidst their overconfidence, one constant remained true about Habib, his unwavering humility and readiness to face any challenge that came his way. Habib predominantly let his actions inside the ring do the talking, and his performance was more than sufficient to silence his opponents. Habib vs. McGregor In the chaotic world of MMA, one rivalry stands out as the most explosive and volatile. Khabib Nurmagomedov vs. Conor McGregor. It's more than just a competition between two fighters, it's a clash of personal beliefs, national pride and raw ambition. The lead up to their showdown was like an epic tale, filled with fiery arguments, big egos and simmering hatred that captured the world's attention. It started with minor insults and dismissive comments exchanged between McGregor and Khabib. They used social media as their battlefield, throwing verbal jabs at each other in tweets and Instagram posts. The tension grew with each passing comment. The press conferences became arenas for their verbal battles. McGregor was theatrical, using his wit and sharp tongue to taunt his opponent. Habib, on the other hand, remained stoic and chose not to engage in unnecessary banter. They were like opposites, and the world eagerly awaited their explosive encounter. The Beginnings Nurmagomedov, an undefeated phenomenon hailing from Dagestan, and McGregor, a sensational Irish fighter known for his sharp tongue and devastating left hand, both climbed the ranks of MMA almost in sync, destined to collide. Khabib, shaped by the harsh winters of Dagestan and the demanding discipline of Sambo, honed his grappling skills to become a formidable force in the UFC lightweight division. On the other hand, McGregor emerged from the working-class suburb of Kremlin in Dublin, his striking finesse and charismatic persona propelling him to extraordinary heights. Their paths initially crossed in 2014 when they posed for a picture together following McGregor's victory over Dustin Poirier. It marked the friendly beginning of a relationship that would eventually transform into an intense and fierce rivalry. The Fight when the day of the fight arrived at UFC 229, all eyes were on the octagon, where McGregor and Habib stood on the brink of a battle. McGregor, the fiery Irish fighter, and Habib, the relentless Dagestani warrior. The atmosphere was tense, with the crowd's energy buzzing like electricity. The fighters circled each other, filled with anger and determination. McGregor started strong, attacking aggressively with his left hand, but Habib remained undeterred, relying on his grappling skills to threaten McGregor. In the first round, McGregor weathered Habib's attacks, but it was clear that the Dagestani fighter was just getting started. The second round belonged to Habib. He knocked McGregor down with a powerful right hand and unleashed a barrage of punches. Despite taking a beating, McGregor managed to survive the onslaught, but the tide was turning against him. McGregor returned in the third round, landing sharp strikes and moving swiftly. However, it wasn't enough to discourage Habib, who continued to press forward with unwavering determination. In the fourth round, Habib's grappling skills took center stage. He took McGregor down and locked in a submission hold, forcing McGregor to tap out. The crowd erupted in excitement, and Habib emerged as the victorious fighter. Habib vs. Dustin Poirier After defeating McGregor, Habib became one of the biggest stars in the MMA company. However, due to a post-fight brawl, the undisputed lightweight champion couldn't compete for a year. While Habib waited for the decision of the Nevada State Athletic Commission, an interim title battle occurred between Dustin Poirier and featherweight King Max Holloway as the main event at UFC 236. Dustin emerged victorious and was declared the interim champion. Upon the commission's approval, the unification belt was set for UFC 242 in Abu Dhabi, which served as the host city. Dustin was considered one of Habib's toughest opponents, and he was confident in his ability to defeat Habib and become the undisputed champion. It was extraordinary to accomplish this feat in front of Habib's father. Dustin appeared focused and determined throughout the fight week, promising to make something special happen. However, as the fight unfolded, Poirier quickly realized the overwhelming dominance of Habib's wrestling game and his ability to control the fight on the ground. Habib's striking was a secondary aspect compared to his suffocating ground game. Not only did Habib successfully defend against Poirier's kicks, but he also executed well-timed combinations to set up his takedowns. He showcased his ground and pound skills in the first round, raining down heavy strikes from the top position. In the third round, Habib opened with a series of punches that caused a severe cut to Poirier's eye while kneeling against the cage. The champion remained calm and composed, despite Poirier's brief attempts at a guillotine choke and taking Habib's back. In his second rear naked choke attempt, Habib locked it in deep, forcing Poirier to tap out at 2 minutes and 6 seconds of the third round. 
Habib's ability to break his opponents physically and mentally over time is undeniable as he sucks them into his dominant ground game. Habib vs Justin Gaethje The COVID-19 pandemic profoundly impacted the world, causing a halt in various activities, including UFC 249, which was supposed to feature a highly anticipated lightweight clash. However, Habib found himself stuck in Russia and unable to fly back to the United States. Adding to his difficulties, Habib had tragically lost his father to COVID-19 complications. For a while, it seemed uncertain if he would ever return to the octagon without his loyal mentor. Yet, a few months after this heartbreaking tragedy, the announcement came for a unification bout at UFC 254. Habib was back, ready to face another dangerous striker and one of the division's hardest hitters, Justin Gaethje. Gaethje's skills had taken on a new dimension after his impressive patience and composure against Tony Ferguson. The fight. In the first round, Gaethje landed several powerful punches on Habib as he moved forward, but the champion remained undeterred. Gaethje also targeted Habib's legs with punishing kicks, which had a visible effect. Toward the end of the round, Habib managed to secure a takedown and was threatened with an armbar. However, Gaethje's initial success was erased in the second round. Habib absorbed more punishing leg kicks and quickly closed the distance with a takedown. He transitioned into a triangle choke from the mount position while rolling onto his back. Unfortunately, the referee missed Gaethje's tap and he ultimately went unconscious. That was the last time we saw Habib, the eagle, inside the octagon. Given his principles and character, it's unlikely that we'll ever witness Habib fighting again. It was later revealed that Habib had endured numerous health issues during his training camp, including a broken foot and a viral infection. Despite the challenges, his illustrious lightweight career came to an end. With that said, thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed it. Until next time.